This video is not suitable for audiences under 13 years of age. Hello everyone, Mixman Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a somewhat look at the new test server. They dropped a test server yesterday, or no Friday, sorry this is Sunday, so yeah on Friday. And I loaded it up on a Friday evening, I was actually able to get on. Uh, they closed it down shortly thereafter. And as you can see, it's completely messed up. They have all this information on here about your OpenGL version, that's all fine. Uh, they have something here on the bottom. Uh, no, I, I think it's the uh, the Android version you're running. Uh, I have absolutely no idea. But you also see in the middle there's a CS button that's right between the Hawk and the Typhon on the left hand side. Now I haven't done any games and I'm not going to set my hand here and there's not going to be any gameplay and there's going to be one specific reason for it. I don't know if this is confirmed or not, but I have read on Facebook and I believe also on Reddit some people are talking about that if you hit that CS button, for some reason the game thinks you're hacking and you end up getting banned. Now I'm not sure if you're just getting banned from a test server or if you're actually getting banned from your own personal account. But Pixonic released it as it is right now and I personally am not going to take any chances of potentially getting banned on my own personal account because the test server is actually on the same device I run the live server on. So for that being said, I am not touching this with a 10 foot pole. I'm just, you know, if it's true that people are getting banned, I hope it's just from the test server because I've seen people saying they were getting banned from the test server. I've not heard anybody saying that they've gotten banned from the actual live server. But like I said, I'm not taking any chances because this is the same device I use for the live server. It just goes to show Pixonic's inability to even do the smallest amount of quality assurance on their products. All Pixonic would have to do is actually load this up and within seconds they would see all this crap on the screen and they should pull down the test server and re-upload the proper version. Like I said, it just goes to show you that they don't even care about doing any proper testing, at least in my personal opinion. They say they go through extensive testing they do not. Something blatantly obvious as this should have been caught before this even got submitted to uh, uh, to Google or submitted to and to Apple. So with that being said, I'm gonna. This is gonna be a very short video. I just wanted to show you what the test server looks like, and I am not taking any chances, personally speaking, to try and run it because if it is true that if you ask if you click on that CS button, you may get banned. Well, look at where the CS button is. In gameplay, that CS button is right above and to the right of where my movement thumb controls are. So I am not going to take any chances of that I'm in a gameplay and then my thumb slips over that CS button and something happens. It's supposed to be some kind of a menu of some sort, but I, like I said, I'm not going to touch it. This is as far as I'm going to go. So anyways, with that being said, I'm going to call it a video. Uh, if you happen to like this content and see the screw-ups at Pixonic Mates, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And until next time, cost some mayhem on the field for me.